How you doing YouTube? This is a quick short video on uh, explaining how you could become a mechanic in 2024. There's a couple of small steps you have to follow in order for this to happen. You could take your traditional way of schooling and uh, trade school and going to YO Tech or UTI or you could take my approach which uh, I've been very lucky to been able to achieve. Um, Quick history about myself, I, I worked warehouse for about 10 years. I always wanted to become a mechanic. I just thought that I had to go to school, but I had set a limit in my mind thinking that I couldn't be a mechanic because I didn't do school or I, I, I just wasn't qualified. But I'd always worked on my own cars. I loved doing that. I, I love tools and, you know, just performance cars and making them look cool and fixing whatever I could fix. So, uh, one day, just one random day, I think it was before um, the pandemic hit, or no, it was during the pandemic. I just remembered clearly now. It was during the pandemic and we had to wear masks for eight hours a day at the warehouse. And I remember the back of my ears just hurting and I said, I don't wanna do this no more. And uh, I ended up quitting. And I quit and I remember telling myself, I'm never coming back to a warehouse job ever again. I'm not doing warehouse no more. I'm gonna do whatever else I could do, but I'm not doing warehouse. And uh, somehow I ended up going into construction and I became a foreman within like two weeks. And I was just like, damn, this is crazy. Like I'm just the luckiest person, you know? And I really started to find a, a love, a passion for tools because construction involves a lot of tools, different types of tools. And I started looking at tools and started falling in love with them. And every time I would go buy tools, I found myself also buying mechanic tools because I've always done my own, my own work on my own cars. And I started buying like just, you know, stuff for mechanics and I just enjoyed it. So I ended up leaving the construction thing, cause I was getting fights and stuff like that. I actually got stitches on my lip cause some guy, you know, he stitched me up real quick cause whatever, whatever the case might be. But I remember leaving those jobs and going to AutoZone thinking, hey, I wanna become a mechanic. I'm gonna start working in AutoZone. It has to do with cars and somehow I'll find my way into the automotive industry. So I did AutoZone for a little bit. It, was, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I couldn't really find my way into the automotive business through AutoZone, but it did help me like with learning names of parts and stuff like that, but the pay was, was bad. So there was no way I could uh, stay there for too long because of the pay. So I ended up getting lucky once again my brother knew this mechanic who owned his own shop and he needed a little bit of help. He didn't really need help, but he said, okay, bring your brother along. If, if, he, if he knows what he's doing, bring him along, which I knew a little bit of what I was doing. I didn't know too much. I knew a little bit, but I knew enough to get me by, which brings me to my first step. At least know enough mechanics to get you by, you know, doing your brakes, your oil change, you know, switch out a headlight, take out some door panels, you know, like basic stuff, like at least know that much. Because if you don't know no mechanic stuff, if you don't know nothing about mechanics, then this video is not gonna work for you. This is for the people who've done mechanics on their own cars for a while and, you know, think that they need to go to school to become a mechanic. I'm just here to tell you that you don't. Because I've gone through a couple shops now, probably like four shops and every shop they've, they've never asked me for um, certificates or, or AAC certificates, which it's not bad because I kind of know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't, but I'll, I'm honest with the people I work with and I'm like, hey man, I don't really know what's up with this. And for the most part, every shop has a system, whether it be all data or Instafix or, or, or whatever program they're running that helps you figure out any diagnostics or, or problems that might be with a car, it gives you test procedures or torque sequences or torque specs. So you don't really have to worry about that too much. You know, you just gotta have like dexterity in your hands to be able to know how to work with these tools, what tools to use, 
simple things like this. So, okay, let me give you the steps on how to become a mechanic in 2024. First step, you must own your own toolbox and your tools. Doesn't have to be nothing fancy, doesn't have to be anything expensive. Maybe with like a thousand bucks, you'll be able to uh, get into any shop. You say, I got my own tools. And with the thousand dollars, you should be able to like remove an engine and put an engine back in. It's not that hard, trust me. It really isn't. I think anybody could really do it as long as they are, uh, how do you say it, detailed or orientated because. You got to remember where these bolts go and you got to be organized. So let me give you an example of something that might work for you as a, as a starting mechanic if you want to go into this business. This is my toolbox at home. This is nothing special. It's just a, a Harbor Freight box. I got a bunch of sockets and they're all different brands. Icon or just the cheap uh, Pittsburgh stuff. You know, got a couple ratchets, been collecting for a while. Nothing special. You can see a lot of these are just Pittsburgh. You know, you got your your wrenches. Just basic stuff. You know, as a as a car guy, you probably already have this stuff. A lot of a lot of these tools, we use it on this car to reseal everything and make it stop leaking. Um, just make it work again, like it like it should. You know, the car doesn't have any any issues anymore. Sorry about that. The car runs perfectly fine. But that's step number one. If you want to become a mechanic in 2024, at least have a toolbox and some tools, and you could practically get a job anywhere, whether it be Big Brand, Jiffy Lube, any of these uh, service spots. You know, you probably won't get into like these major auto spots that are like German orientated or or specialty orientated that, that pay like $40, $50 an hour, but you could probably get into any job that pays like $20 an hour plus incentive, which is cool. It's good enough to start if you really wanna be in this field. Second step is every time you go apply, every time you apply at a job for mechanics, go to the shop and introduce yourself in person. This is one of the biggest things that like people don't do this no more. I don't know what's up with the world. They got social anxiety. They can't speak to people. But for some reason, people are scared to talk to other people. And one of the main things that that's always helped me out is that every time I apply a job, I always go and I introduce myself. I shake the manager's hand. I let myself, can I take a look at your shop, blah, blah, blah. These are all steps that pe that as a manager, they see that and they're like, damn, this guy, He's like a, a mature person, you know, He's, he seems pretty mature. Like, let's give him a chance. You know, like, I like this guy. This guy takes initiative, like that type of stuff. It's always worked for me, it hasn't failed. So that's just step number two. Every, anywhere you apply, go look at the shop. Go, go inspect and see if that's really a place you wanna work at. Introduce to your managers. Your manager at Dick is cool right off the bat, blah, blah, blah. You know, like that's things that I look at. I go and look at a shop because I'm a tall guy. I'm like 6'3". I don't fit under a lot of lifts. So anytime I go to apply at a spot, I'm like, let me go look at your shop because I want to see if I fit under the lift. I'm not going to be working at a, at a shop where the lift is this high and I'm going to be like this all day. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go inspect and see if this is where I want to work. That's step number two. Let me catch my breath real quick. Step number three. Learn as much as you can from your peers because every shop has a master tech and there's always some guy that knows a lot. And any whatever you do, always try to attach yourself to the master tech, get on his good side, whatever. Be cool with him because he's the one that's going to show you for free. He's going to school you for free. You don't got to go to schools because the master tech, he can show you what's up as long as you're cool with him. Sometimes... There's people out there that are hard to get along with, but for the most part, you could always get along with somebody, even the grumpy guy. You could get along with him somehow. Hey, bring a coffee one morning. Hey man, look, got your coffee. There's some donuts right here, blah, blah, blah. Easy. And he's gonna give you a wealth of knowledge if you're just a cool guy to hang around with or, or, or just, you know, easy to vibe with. So that's rule number, that's uh, step number three. 
Be cool with the master tag because he's going to show you a lot of stuff for free. Step number four. Don't always be so quick to ask for help. Try to figure shit out on your own. Try Anytime you ask for a tool, only ask for it like once or twice and make sure you try to buy it on your next paycheck because asking for other people's tools and asking for people for help all the fucking time is very annoying. Like, no, these guys, he's working on, a, on an engine, taking some shit out, and you come like in a crucial time when he's about to grab that board, hey, can you help me real quick? Now you just unfocused him. Now he has to come help you on do something simple. Learn how to do stuff yourself for the most part. And for the most part, these places, like I said, they have that, they have the, the computer where you could go in there and look up sequences, torque specs, all this stuff, whether it be all data, insta hit or direct hit, whatever it's called. Um, so go in there and do your shit first. Look at a YouTube video, Google that shit, you know? And if you really can't get it, then, hey, bro, you think you're coming with this real quick? What do you think about this? Blah, 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 you know? And if you really can't do it, then maybe you have to pass that ticket up and be like, hey, I, I, I'm not too familiar with this job here. Can maybe have the master tech do it? He, he, you know, like, I'll give him my ticket, whatever. Sometimes you have to eat some tickets. Like, there was one time I asked this guy for help, and he said, I'll give you half. He, he said, you got to give me half of your ticket, and I'll help you. And I sat on it, and I was like, damn, for real? He's like, yeah, give me half your ticket, bro. He's like, give me half your ticket. I'm gonna show you how to do something you're gonna know for the rest of your life and you're never gonna have to ask anybody on how to do this shit ever again. And I was like, damn, you're right. Fuck it, half, half my ticket. What's that, like 10, 20 bucks? Keep it. And he showed me how to do it. And now I show people how to do it, you know? So just be aware of that. Sometimes when you're a beginner, you need some help, you know? Cause when we're in the garage, in our garage, or out in the front yard or whatever, doing mechanic stuff, we think that we know how to do a lot. But when you hit a shop and you're getting constant cars and constant different problems, you start thinking like, damn, I know very little compared to what I thought I knew, you know? So just be aware of that. You don't, you don't necessarily need certificates to become a mechanic in 2024. They need mechanics everywhere right now. Everywhere they need mechanics, you know? Go to whatever shop you can get your foot into, apply in person, take your toolbox, you're, you're in, trust me. In one year, in one year, I went from $18 an hour to 30 plus an hour because I became a mechanic. I left warehouse work behind and became a mechanic. And I'm not even the best mechanic. I'm just the fucking amateur, you know? There's master techs out there that know so much more that are getting paid 50 $60,000, I mean, 50 to $60 an hour, you know, to specialize in certain cars. So it's easy to become a mechanic. Don't set that limit in your mind thinking that you need to go to school like I did. I had that, that in my head thinking that I had to do that. And that's why I was always scared to become one. But when I ran out of options, I'm here now. And I saw the truth. And the truth is that you don't need anything to become a mechanic. You just need to get in at a certain spot and just ride the wave until you hit your next spot. And ride that wave, learn whatever you can from there until you hit the next spot, you know? You could lie to management and say, I know how to do this and do that. And then learn it as you're there. You know, that's what I did. So good luck to you guys. Good luck. I wish you guys luck. Also, another thing that I almost forgot, um, the next step. Actually, I forgot what the last step was. I should have wrote it down. I didn't, I'm sorry guys, but I think that's gonna be it for today. Peace.